So what we saw from Eben was he was able to improve his map by using the online content. He was able to discover additional content to add to his map. But at the end of all that, he did some GIS analysis, and he was able to share that. Now, when he went to share, he chose to choose it, excuse me, he chose to share it with an online group. That online group was called DC Snow. I'm a member of that group, so I can see this data. So let's take a look at this group. Look at its description, and let's look at its content. This is all the various content that's available in this group. And if we scroll down, hopefully, there it is, we'll find priority roads for plowing, which Evan just created. I can use this layer package that's now available online and use it directly on my desktop or inside of Explorer. There's another way that people also share their information, and that's by using maps. We introduced the concept of an, uh, sharing an online map. We allow you to author these online maps very simply. You can pick which sort of base map would you like to use. You can zoom into the areas that you want. So let's work in the DC area as well, which is somewhere down here. Using this online map, I can add some content to this and mash up that data to create new information. Well, where does this data come from? Well, I can search what people have registered online. I can also search the open web for any services to mash up on top of my data. Or I can specify my own GIS servers where this data is going to come from. What's nice is I can also look at this data by group. Since I'm a member of the DC Snow Group, I can just see what's available for members of that group. And these are the web services that are available. So I have some metros. Let's add those in. And then I have some hypothermia shelters. So let's zoom in a little bit. And now what we've created, we've actually created a map that mashes up the metros and the hypothermia shelters together. And I can share this. So I can save this map. This web map is now saved to my online account. So it's part of my content. So if I go to my content, DC Metro and Shelters, this is the data that I just created. And I can look at the information for this. I can't rate my own data, but other people can actually assign ratings as they, whether they like my data and actually see where all this data came from. I can now share this data, and I can pick who I want to share it with whether I want to make it publicly available, or just for the members of the DC Snow Group. Another way people share information is by sharing their applications and their GIS. We introduce a new concept of an app gallery for ArcGIS. This allows you to find applications that you can use directly to do your work. These are GIS applications hosted by us, hosted by our partners, and built by many of you that you can expose and let people access over the web. It's a community site, so you can search by most popular, highest rated, as well as when they were added or what they were built with. These applications are built using our web APIs, JavaScript, Flex, and Silverlight. ESRI is actually using these web APIs to build a web version of ArcGIS Explorer. This is ArcGIS Explorer web. It runs completely in a browser, and there's no download. It allows you to do all the same stuff you normally would do with Explorer and be able to zoom, pan, add additional content, create bookmarks, map notes, annotations, execute tasks, as well as do presentations, all running within a browser. As with Explorer, you can change out the base map to use Bing aerial maps or street maps, 
Well, I'd like to show you that we can actually add now the OpenStreetMap project as a base map. This means that you can leverage the community data being generated by OpenStreetMap to be able to access and use this data online. But as I said, Explorer allows you also to do presentations. But now you can do these inside a web browser. This means that you can share your information and presentations with your colleagues, your boss, your friends, without having to install any software. You can author your presentation on the web, store it online, and access it from any browser. These capabilities allow ArcGIS 10 to be really your complete online GIS, giving you access to data, analysis, tasks, content, sharing, and communities, and increasingly online applications. And with that, thanks very much. Back to you, Jack.